for gradient separations, this is quite straightforward because in a gradient separation, when the retention of the column is sufficiently strong, the analytes will, will always anyhow be focused on top of the column. So that means that the dispersion that had occurred in front of the column is totally forgotten. And so that's simple then. Now, for isocratic separations, you can play a similar trick by adding a little bit of, of weaker solvent to the sample. And then also when your analytes will reach the top of the column, they will focus there. So this is a way to get rid of the dispersion in front of the column. Now, at the end of the column, the opposite thing occurs. Instead of focusing, you have defocusing. And after the column, that means that there is no way of getting a band shape improved. And then that means that any dispersion you undergo in the trajectory between the column and the detector, you will have to live with it. And so post-column dispersion is, is really inescapable in that sense.